Greg Driscoll here. In this video, the second of a series of three, we're going to show you ways to increase the offering of products and services to your current customers and current contracts. First, let me show you this. This is our tool packet. That's what we lovingly call it. It says providing the tools to increase your profitable revenue. And inside this nice folder, you'll see there are many different uh, devices that we're going to provide you. And the first thing we're going to talk about is a way to expand your business offering from your core seal coating and striping. The first device I want to show you is detectable warnings. Now, this detectable warnings brochure shows two different types of, uh, of materials. One is inset into wet concrete and another is applied on ramps that already meet the specification required. So let's talk about that. What do detectable warnings do? Detectable warnings will warn or alert the visually impaired person that they are leaving the safety of a pedestrian zone and stepping into the hazard of a vehicular zone, whether that be a parking lot or a street. It has been federally mandated since July 26, 2001, that all flush transitions that do not have, of course, a curb or a rail must have one of these devices, a detectable warning, to alert the visually impaired of the impending danger. This includes any public right-of-way, and yes, any commercial parking lot, residential parking lot, anywhere in the United States that there is a flush transition between the pedestrian zone and a vehicular zone, a detectable warning must exist. Now, if you want to make $100 in less than 10 minutes, install a ready mat. The next device I want to show you is the traffic cop. The traffic cop traffic calming systems. Now, with the traffic cop, it is designed and its uh, other products. You see, this is the traffic cop and then the site cop and the site cop plus. These are designed to slow traffic and control traffic at speeds of 35 mile an hour or less. This can be in parking lots or on neighborhood streets. There are entire businesses, companies, contractors, that are built solely on the installation of this type of device. Be sure to go on our website and view a video on the traffic cop. The next tool I want to show you is about signs. You know, a moment ago I spoke about the federal regulation that all flush transitions must have a detectable warning on. Did you know that traffic signs, wherever the public has access, commercial buildings, gated communities, it doesn't matter. Every place that there is a traffic sign that the public has access, they must meet the minimum standards set forth by the Manual of Uniform Traffic Control Devices, that's the MUTCD, regulations. That includes placement, size, shape, colors, even retroreflectivity. You may know it, but I bet your customer doesn't, or your potential customer. What I have in my hand here is a brochure that says, Sell More Signs. The brochure was actually not produced by us. This brochure was produced by American Traffic Safety Services Association, an uh, organization that we um, are members of and put a lot of faith in. Great group of people. They are a nonprofit organization. And on the front of it, it says Federal Regulations Impact, sign, impact Signs on Private Property. And it goes through and it starts giving you some frequently asked questions and those answers. It shows you some examples of non-compliant signs that we see quite often, unfortunately. And it also shows you some resources in which they that verify this information and back it up. Now, how can you use this? One of the best ways, I think, to use this is you go to a property, 
uh, let's say a commercial property, and you see that their signs are a little, um, uh, probably uh, many of them not meeting the minimum standards. You go to the property manager and you, you simply hand them this, this brochure and you, you tell them, I don't know if you're aware of this, but, but your signs on this property have to meet federal standards. And I'm going to leave this with you. And if you decide that you'd like for me to come back and survey your property and make sure they all do meet the minimum standards, and of course, in effect, decreasing your liability of that, um, I'll be glad to come back and do so. So you leave that, you leave this document, this card, or this uh, brochure, you leave your card, they call you up, probably 50% of the time at least, they're going to call you up and say, hey, can you come out and do that free survey that you were talking about? You go out, you examine the signs, you look at their placement, you look at their size, their shape, their color, you can even check their reflectivity, and uh, if uh, they do not meet uh, the requirement, you list them out, and when you go back to the customer and you say, you know, I found four stop signs that are not within regulation, and I will replace them for X amount of dollars. Uh, it's a great way to expand your business more into the signs. Uh, I have seen that most of our customers make quite a bit of margin in the installation of traffic signs. So this is a device I, I highly recommend to use, and we can provide more of these. More can be uh, purchased, I believe, maybe even many of them you can get uh, at no charge from the ATSA organization. But we've included this in our packet along with the others. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is this. In this book, there are over 700 ways to improve or to increase your service and product offering. Well, what is it? This is our catalog. Now, why do I say that it's, uh, it's ways to increase your, uh, your product offering? Well, simply stated, there are no prices in this catalog. This catalog is well done, it's very well organized, it's professional, it shows photos of the products and their usage. What I recommend doing is taking this, this uh, catalog and sitting down with your customer after you get the bid, and you can tell them, you know, I'll give you an example. I, I saw over there uh, on, the, on the west side of your property, the grass is pretty chewed up from cars uh, driving in and out of that area, and, and if you want to keep them off, I've got an idea. They make these things, they're called flexible um, tubular delineators. And what they do is they go in the ground, there's a nice picture here of, of the device and what it's for, and we can put these things up in that area and it's going to keep the cars out. Now they're flexible and they're tubular, so what that means is that if a car hits them, uh, number one, they're going to rebound, number two, they're not going to damage the car significantly. Um, and yeah, eventually we may have to replace one or two if they keep getting hit. But the idea is that we're going to save your grass by putting up a couple of these devices. You could say, I've noticed that uh, there's an area of um, where it looks like a speedway out in front of your building or out in the uh, exterior road or something of that sort. And then that's when you can get into the traffic calming devices. So again, many ways that you can upsell. This provides the information. Uh, you can read it directly off of there or uh, have your customer read it. A great tool to increase your product offering and your service offering. Highly recommend this. The last thing I'm going to show you in this series, in this video, is probably to me about the best tool that we could design. And this is a tool, this is a brochure that says seal coating your parking lot, protecting your investment. And it says how a little maintenance now can save you a lot of money later. Now in this, this goes in and discusses why seal coating. And it tells about how it extends the life cycle of the, um, of the pavement. It talks about how it saves money in the long run, how it improves the appearance, how it decreases the liability. And then it tells you when you should be seal coating. And here you'll see we, get, we have many questions asked uh, by our, our uh, contractors of, do you have anything that explains why you should seal coat? Believe it or not, there are a lot of customers out there of yours that still don't understand the purpose uh, and the advantage of seal coating. 
So this shows you a little graph that shows you the, the difference between minor repairs, major repairs, and replacement costs. Uh, it's even got a section on here, and believe it or not, this was requested by our contractors that says what you should ask your contractor, which includes mixed design, what type of sealer you're using, uh, what is the uh, application rate, uh, those type of questions that they felt that were really important in order to set the good contractors aside from the not so good contractors. On the back side you'll see uh, how sealing works. Uh, it shows uh, pavement before it's sealed and after it's sealed and, and how it affects the pavement. Now, big word of warning. On our current piece, uh, I will tell you we are we are big fans of coal tar. We believe in coal tar. We think coal tar, by far, is the best protectant that we can put on asphalt in this day and time. This is a pro coal tar emulsion sheet. So if you're using asphalt base, you probably don't want to use this because what it does is it will go through and it talks about proven performance, fade resistance, fuel resistance, wear resistance, and weather resistance, showing that coal tar emulsion beats them all in all those categories. So uh, if, again, this is a pro coal tar emulsion sealer document. I highly recommend it. You can get, if you're a current customer of PPP, we do offer 25 of these free a month. Uh, if you're not, uh, we do sell them at, uh, at a reasonable price. I think uh, basically our printing costs around 25 cents a piece. And you can hand these out to your customers and uh, they can understand more of what you're trying to accomplish. Well, those are a few of the items that we think uh, that you can use to, um, to improve your uh, product and uh, service offering. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, video three, remember, is on upselling. And we're going to talk about a couple products that you can upsell to and immediately put money directly in your, in your pocket. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.